Hello, welcome back to Coffee and Quotum. This is October's monthly book box opening for Caffeine and Legends. Uh, it is definitely my favorite book box ever of all times. For those of you who don't know, Caffeine and Legends is a book subscription box. Um, you get like a caffeine item, either coffee or tea, um, some sort of like book swag, goody thing, and then a book of the month all themed around whatever the month's theme is. I don't remember what October's theme is. I always read them and see the like reveal, but I can never remember. <laughs> so it'll be a surprise to us all. So this is October's month. I get the roulette option, so I don't know if it's going to be coffee or tea, um, which I think is the coolest surprise of all time. So let's just get into this. I don't know if it's going to be coffee or tea. I'll never know. It's like never get it in the box. So this month's theme is Silent Threats. Okay, wait, I'm not gonna read. I don't wanna spoil it. So this is what the box looks like. So I really don't know what's going on yet. Ooh, I think I see a mug. It's a mug. <gasps> Ooh, it's like a nice ceramic mug. Is it a ceramic mug? Oh, I don't know, so I don't wanna ruin it. So it's a really cool ceramic mug. You are magic. Nice. Very excited. Okay. Ooh, looks like I got coffee this time. So I got, oh wait, not coffee, it's tea. It psyched me out. <laughs> if I would just read, I don't know tea. <laughs> well, let's see, this is fruity, bright, and sweet. Ooh, it's a green tea. This is handcrafted with flavors of pineapple, mango, and papaya. Okay, well now that I have a mug and some tea. We have to go make it. So that tea smelled delicious before it was brewed. And it smells really good after. I was really worried that with all of the stuff, the pineapple and the papaya or whatever, all the other stuff that was in it, I really worried it was going to be super sweet. But it's not. It's just really good green tea. Isn't that the coolest mug? There we go. <laughs> I love the mug. Ooh, hardback. It's a hardback book. It's a very cool cover. The Bone Shard Daughter. Ooh. Okay, now that I know what's in the box, I can read the spoiler card. So this is an epic fantasy um, world with new and dark magic system, neat constructs, and plenty of intrigue. That's exciting. We resonate with the idea that everyone has magic in their bones, so created these custom You Are Magic mugs. These campfire mugs are microwave safe. Although, side note, if any of you people microwave your water to make with tea, you're heathens. Don't do that. But they're microwave safe. <laughs> um, recommend hand washing to keep the design. Islands are an integral part of the story and character locations. And nothing says island like the Maui green tea. I can't, hang on. <sighs> Don't try to do things while holding a mug of, mug of hot tea. Not unless you want to spill shit. The Bone Shard Daughter. Let's see if my public reading skills have gotten any better. In an empire ruled by Bone Shard Magic, the former heir of the Emperor will fight to reclaim her magic and place on the throne in the stunning epic fantasy debut. The Sukai dynasty has ruled the Phoenix Empire for over a century. Their mastery of Bone Shard Magic empowering the monstrous constructs that maintain law and order. But now the Emperor's rule is faltering, and revolution is sweeping across the Empire's many lands. Trapped in a palace of locked doors and secrets, Lin is the Empire's is the Emperor's daughter, but not his heir. Figures. Her childhood memories have been erased by a mysterious illness. The only way to reclaim her birthright and overthrow her despotic father is to master the art of the very bone shard magic that his subjects fear. Ooh. But the, the secrets beyond her father's powers are dark and deep, and the magic he wields does not come without a cost. 
when the revolution reaches the gates of the palace itself, Lynn must decide how far she's willing to go to claim her throne and save her people. That is very interesting. Tea break. So two things stand out to me. Very cool about this book. Bone shard magic. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. I've never heard of it. That sounds so interesting and unique. So I'm super excited to hear about the bone shard magic. And the constructs, it kind of sounds a little bit like golems. I'm not sure if I'm even close to that, but that's where my... Oh, a map! <laughs> I love I love books that have maps in them. Oh, and it's written in first person. Anyway, so, so distracted. So the two things that really stand out to me are the, the magic system that it seems to have, which sounds very cool and complicated, and I hope it's as deep as it seems. The other thing is this girl with no memory of who she is. <laughs> I am all for this book. So yeah, super exciting. This book sounds really cool. I like the very obvious um, Asian influence that the cover has and I mean the 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 world itself sounds very Asian inspired. So that's very exciting. Oh, I need to <laughs> keep reading little sections and I get really anyway focus. This looks really cool. I'm super excited about this book. The tea is very good. Also, did you all see? I rearranged my bookshelves to show off my typewriter. Anyway, the tea is very yummy. The green tea is delicious. It, the back of the bag said that this was a good intro to green tea if you've never had it before. And I would say that that is pretty accurate. I love green tea. Um, the best way to greet the best way to drink a good green tea is without sugar or cream or anything like that. Um, also, here I'm just going to give you a lecture on tea. <laughs> tea time with Natalie. There are different brew temperatures for teas. Black tea you want like boiling-ish. It doesn't matter if you have really hot water. Green tea, you don't want to use hot, hot, hot boiling water when you steep it or it'll burn the leaves and make it bitter. So if you don't like green tea, and if you don't like green tea because you think it tastes bitter, it's probably because it was steeped either too long or in too hot of water. So when you boil and steep your green tea, make sure you're not doing it for more than like three minutes and make sure you're not burning it with scalding hot water. That's probably why you haven't liked it. So the more you know. But this is very good green tea. It's just sweet enough with all of the pineapple and other stuff added to it that if you're not used to drinking tea without sugar, you wouldn't really notice it with this. It's nice and sweet even just with the add-in stuff. It's very good. I like it. Uh, so yeah, thanks for joining me on this uh, shorter book box opening. But the tea is very good. Adorable mug. I'm very excited. I'm really excited to read this book. I don't have time to read books at all. And the amount of books that I have sitting on my bookshelf that are completely unread would appall many people, but it is going into my to-be-read pile. Hopefully I will read this one soon. Shit. My work phone is blowing up, so I'm going to have to go and cut it a little early. Thanks everybody for stopping in. Check out Caffeine and Legends. I'll link them in the description. They are a fantastic book order subscription box. I'm not sponsored by them and I'm not a rep for them or anything like that. I just really do enjoy their boxes. Everybody stay safe and I will see you next time.